what kind of problem is this? Up, up, up. <sighs> I want to cry. Seriously, I don't know what to do right now with my setup. Okay, this is fine. Oh my God, guys. You guys will not believe the struggle to actually put the camera this way. I've been trying for like over three minutes now. Let me see. Yeah, three minutes now to set up, just to set up my camera. It's tough, man. Guys, welcome to my channel. Hey, hey everyone. I'm really in high spirits today. <laughs> First of all, because today is Friday, yeah? So I'm really happy that the weekend is finally here and I can chill and sleep and eat, you know, make food, eat and all of that. Um, so I'm still working. Let me not lie. It's Friday, yeah, but I'm still I'm still like working. This is my laptop and I'm sorting some things down here because I'm actually going out. Um, I want to actually go and work from outside of my house because I am tired of working inside the house. I am tired of being inside this house. I've been inside this house for like um, three months like working though because I always I always like go out but you know what i just want to go and work from somewhere else another thing is that i am actually losing like what do they call it now um inspiration i'm a creative person so i'm losing inspo and so i decided let me you know what let me just go out you know and just be out of my home space and see if i would get some inspo so that's what i'm actually doing right now there is this new place in is it new it's been around for some time now the name is bature brewery i hope i'm pronouncing it correct but if i'm not i'm definitely going to write it down here so the name of the place is bature brewery and it's this craft brewery spot here in lagos so yeah they make the beers and then they sell the beers they have only two locations one here in lagos and another in abuja so i actually reached out to them and asked them if i can come by if i can stop by and just you know see what they do and all that and they were like yeah but the time that they asked me to come i couldn't make it and i didn't even tell them that i wasn't going to be able to make it like anyway i reached out to them again like this week and they've not even read the chat not of responding so i'm not sure that I'm not sure that they've actually seen my chat because, of course, you would see when somebody has read your chat, right? I've not seen that. So I'm just going to go there anyway because I really need a change of environment right now. I'm tired. I'm lacking inspiration. I just want to go there and clear my head um, and just see, you know, what they have. Um, I think they also sell some like food, but you know what we'll find out when, when we get there So if you are currently working from home once a while Just try to like go out of your house and work from somewhere else It may be a coffee shop or something try as much as possible To work from outside of your home so that you can just you know have that feeling of Community that we all miss, you know because we're not in the office, right? So I think the only thing left for me to pack now is a mask. I have this tote bag that somebody gifted me. Thank you so much if you're watching. Um, it says boss chick. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Could that be me? <laughs> anyway, so I'm just carrying this tote bag, nothing too serious, and I'm just wearing a free gown. It's time to go out and walk from outside of the house. I'll see you guys there.
around. But I still love to go to <laughs> okay, so this is our storage room for all our grains. We use a mix of um, guinea corn, uh, sorghum from around Nigeria, okay. and then Pilsner uh, malt, barley malt that uh, we buy from the same suppliers as Heineken and Guinness. So, oh, wow, okay. um, but one of the main things we do here is try to use as much local ingredients as possible. So okay. if we're ever adding any sugars or, or malts, it's, we try to use Nigerian first. Oh, wow. uh, on average, around 40% of the content is um, Local, but with our stouts, about seventy percent of the content is, is, is in Nigeria. Yeah, okay. um, we also use specialty malts, so the ones in the bags here that are branded, that I bring them in specifically. They're usually from um, from Germany or the UK, and they're really the highest end malts we can find for those okay. chocolate roasted flavors, crystal yeah. caramel flavors. So all those types of like unique things we go for, we yeah. blend with the Nigerian wow. grains, yeah. and that's how we make. How we make <laughs> all right. And um, so the first. Black gold stout we use. We got the coffee from uh, Mangula in Taraba State. Oh yeah, I think yeah. I've seen this. But over time, we, because we're using more and more, Kaldi. we now use Kaldi. Uh, so Kaldi is roasted in in uh, in the Pedro, in Lagos. In the Lagos foundry, here. The foundry, yeah. oh, so wow. the coffee we use is local, mm -hmm. and then from time to time we make beers using zobo, lemongrass. But right now we did a mango beer. So wow. The mango beer came from the mangoes at the back. <laughs> the tree, and put them in the beer. It's actually on tap now. Okay. Um, so it's down on the tap as uh, basically a one off seasonal addition. Place it over there. Okay. Wow. And um, so everything's made here. The one melting system, which means that uh, any one, one brewery can make about 3,000 cans. 3,000 cans. Uh, we mix the grains in here. Okay, they're still cleaning out. Yeah, that's finished today. So we mix the grains in here at about 70 degrees. That extracts all the liquid and all the sugars. So now it's like a maltina or a malta Guinness. Then we transfer over to the oil kettle. Boil it up for at least one hour. That sterilizes it, but also gives it a chance to add our local flavors, whether it's coffee, zobo, mango, anything. Anything, it's yeah. Oil. Oh, wow. From there, we chill it down, we bring it down from 100 degrees to 20 degrees, and then we put it in these tanks. 1,000 litre, 1,000 pounds, and this is a 2,000 litre tank. So right now, we've got a big old slider. I think this is my favourite. And this is First Lady. Yeah, First Lady. And then this is a lager. So, have you ever tried beer from a tank before? No, never. <laughs> Definitely, I'd like to. <laughs> okay. So what time? So I already have Lagos, so let me try. How about the first lady? First lady, okay. Be the first lady to try this. <laughs> we are right. the first lady to try this. So this is sanitizer. Okay. Sanitizer, make it good. You're always sanitizing. 90% of brewing as well. Hmm. Okay. Sweet smell. Yeah. It's, it's not it's not probably another four or five days until it's finished the packaging. Yeah. Right now it's a nice aroma. It's just been in the It has a nice aroma fresh. and it's very strong. <laughs> yeah, it's a 5.8% beer, so it's quite strong. 
think I'll like this when it's done. Oh. I like the I like the smell. I like the flavor I'm getting right. It's more malty beer compared to like a lager. Um, it's a darker beer. It's uh, more of that um, I would say amber to brown color. It fits with like the IPA style um, compared to a lager, which is very yellow. Um, um, and then what happens is we keep it in here for about two weeks, about 14 days. And after 14 days, the yeast eats the sugars and makes it alcoholic. And then basically when that's finished, we chill it down to two degrees and clarifies it. So it makes it a clear beer or somewhat clear and then we're ready to package it. I like this. <laughs> we convert you now from Lagos Lager to uh, <laughs> best beer. So this beer you drink is the best beer in Africa 2021. Wow! Congratulations! <laughs> I think my first lady will win something to one day. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys um, the drinks that I picked up from Bature and this is actually the black gold styles I brought this out from my fridge and it's just cold on my hand oh my gosh <laughs> so um, <clears throat> um, this is the award-winning black gold stout that Kevin was talking about um, when we did the brewery tour so here's what it looks like proudly brewed in Nigeria she can see and then the artwork is by William Sheshet. you can check out William Sheshet on Instagram you can check out his work on Instagram that's his handle right there and true story I discovered Bachiri Brewery through William Sheshet because when he did this oh my gosh that's our law this is really cute I love 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 this packaging guys look at it look at that love it love it like i was saying i discovered this brand through william sheshet because i follow him on instagram i like his work and yeah that was how i discovered Baturi. so yeah here's another one of their cans that i picked up look at the artwork this is so vibrant and so nice i love this i love this and this is by another nigerian artist called yellow yemisi and this yeah so the artwork is by yellow emc and look at this guys this is the first lady and yeah this is it so cute these ones are not so cold because they were not in the fridge the third one also um by the artwork is also by william sheshet and of course i know william sheshet wherever i see him look at this <laughs> um and this is the hamilton haze and as you can see where did they write his name yeah artwork by william shesha so this is what their cans look like it's so aesthetically pleasing i love 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 this so i think i got five um two is already down and here are the three that i have um left i had some visitors and they drank too so yeah <laughs> 